Coming up on today's show, we'll take a look at the do's and do nots of Halloween safety, a foreign exchange student and how she is adapting to the school, and two students who volunteer to scare people at a local screen park. Stay tuned for this spooky Halloween edition of Laker TV. Welcome to the Laker TV Halloween special, where our Halloween puns are not scarce. Ugh. That joke is going to haunt me the rest of the show. It already does. <laughs> Anyways, what are you going to do for Halloween? Probably just hang out with a few friends. You? Friends? Lord, that's worse than the JFK conspiracies. Anyways, I hope they're a success. <laughs> Speaking of successes, the Laker band has had a distinguished season, but the marching season comes to a close this weekend with state-level competition in Louisville. And leading the way will be senior Jason Reynolds, the Laker band drum major. Well, it feels kind of surreal, actually. We came into the season kicking and screaming already just ready to go out and do as well as we possibly could. But I never expected us to be this successful. Just the fact that we've been this successful is really surreal to me. It's usually just go out there, get stuff done, go home, is what we all have the mindset is go out there, get stuff done, perform well, go home. Being drum major is actually a lot of work, really. It's not really like physical work, but it's more logistics and managerial work than anything. We have to fill water jugs, uh, cut drill tags, distribute drill tags, music. Really the biggest thing about being drum major is it's really nice finally having the ability to lead the band and to get it, to get them hyped up and to get them playing at their best. Seeing this year as it being our most successful year, we've had things like the last time we won FOC was eight years ago. And this is the grand championship trophy for FOC. It's taller than me and I'm six foot. And then this one is probably the one I'm most proud of. This is from the McGavick High School Music City Invitational in Tennessee, Nashville to be exact. It's the Mayor's Cup. It is absolutely, positively, the best trophy that we've ever gotten from a competition. This is the grand champion for the small division. We were fourth overall in the MCI competition against bands with 150 plus members. So in my book and in most of the band's book, that was a pretty big success. After school today, the Laker band will be traveling to Louisville to compete in the state semifinal round on Saturday. To put it another way, this is the Sweet 16 of the Kentucky band world. Callaway's band placed fifth in regionals this past Saturday at Allen County, Scottsville to qualify for tomorrow's semifinal round. And that's the 15th consecutive year for the Laker band to make it this, this far. Way to go, guys, and good luck this weekend. Once again this year, we have several foreign exchange students experiencing life as a Laker. This week, student Henna Yokola is a foreign exchange student at Callaway County High School. And reporters Jillian Hackathorn and Bria Duncan meet with her to give us an inside scoop of what it's like to be a foreign student. <laughs> Well, just like be open-minded and prepared for everything. They hugged me and then said hi and then said like something like welcome to America and then I just stood there like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you want to do as a career after high school? Uh, being a video game developer. Where does your inspiration come from? Well, <laughs> part of them come from like just like video games. I like to draw video game characters. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from my friend, she taught me how to draw when I was like five. And from there, I've just drawn. Like when I get bored in class, like when I can't get on my phone, but I can draw. And then it has, it's been useful in some occasions. And then when like you have to draw in class, it, it's not that bad thing. But how long have you been practicing? Uh, well, like uh, I've only like drawn, drawn for three years. But I've drawn since I've been like five. But I didn't consider myself somewhat good at drawing <laughs> then three years like like back. Do you watch a lot of anime? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a lot. Like I love it when people like I draw and then people ask me, Oh, do you watch anime? And I'm like Do you not? A little. Not that much. I read more like manga. It just has because my friend has drawn and then I like learned from her and then she has learned from manga and anime so I guess you can say that I have influences from manga and anime. My name is Henna Jokela and I'm from Finland and bye. My name is Henna Jokela and I'm from Finland. I'm glad to see Henna is getting along and aspiring to be a game developer. Can't wait to see what she brings to the table in the future. Or maybe I should say what she brings to the screen in the future. All right, we gotta, we gotta stop with these puns. All right, and anyway, besides the puns, it's gonna get real spooky after the break. Looks like you're already celebrating Halloween with the mask you got on there. Mm, you didn't need makeup this morning. Oh. You said you weren't gonna say that joke. Well, guess what? <laughs> I lied. Ouch. But you're gonna need some time to heal from that, right? You're in luck because we have some Halloween segments featuring Possessed Cleaning Tool, Safety for Halloween, and Students Working at Challenge Falls. All that and more on Laker TV. Well, that about does it. I'll go take a shower and get ready for my date tonight. This is me, and I bet you're wondering how I ended up in this situation. I wasn't safe on Halloween, but I made a video before this, and if you follow my tips, you can be safe. This year, there's been a lot of people dressing up as clowns and trying to scare the youngins, especially around Halloween. Oh look, there's one now. I swear I'm just ugly. Silence, evil doer! You can never be too careful with safety. When you go trick-or-treating, make sure you're in a well-lit area because you never know what kind of freaks might be out there in the shadows. You really just need to be safe and watch out for weird people. And you need to... Ah! Help! Be safe! Be safe! This could be you if you're not safe! When you pick a costume, make sure you're safe. As in, make sure you can see because you don't need to be walking around if you can't see because that endangers yourself and others. And being able to see is a major key to safety. And let's go trick-or-treating.
when you go to a house, make sure it doesn't seem too suspicious or creepy because that's not safe. This one looks okay. All right. If you're walking down the street and a stranger offers you candy, you better make sure they're not creepy first. Hey, little boy. Want some candy? I promise I'm not creepy. Well, I mean, he did promise he wasn't creepy. Yeah, I want some candy. When you carve a pumpkin, you need to make sure that you have all the right equipment so that you can maximize safety. First, you go and take your machete, then you go and give it a good... <laughs> I don't know if I would take safety tips from Bradley. No, I'm surprised Brandon didn't drag him off and uh... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, Lego TV <laughs> wants to know, what's your favorite Halloween movie? We invite you to respond to our Twitter poll and give us your answer. We narrowed it down to these four choices. Beetlejuice, Halloween Town, It, or Nightmare Before Christmas. If you're not already following us on Twitter, then start today. We're at Callaway Live on Twitter and we'd like to hear from you. Now that you know the dangers of Halloween and how to avoid them, I'm going to give you some backstory on one of Halloween's most famous objects, the jack-o'-lantern. Back in Ireland, there was a boy named Jack who played a trick on the devil and made sure that he couldn't, you know, go down below when he buys the farm or bites the bullet or whatever you want to say. The catch was that he could not go up above either, so he was stuck here on earth forever. He made a light to guide him around earth for eternity. Now that some of you have the history of the pumpkin, an old friend of mine's going to show you how to carve them. So that's what we gonna do today. Carve us some jack-o'-lanterns. So we got three little pumpkins here. And we gonna carve these little pumpkins, all right? We gonna start off with this one. This cute little one. And we gonna carve it. Let's get these two out of the way so we don't hurt them. We gonna carve it using my favorite tool. A chainsaw. It's beautiful, I tell you what. First time I ever carved a pumpkin. Now for this second one right here, we gonna be using my favorite tool in the arsenal. Sally Sledgehammer. For this third one here, we gonna be using my second favorite tool. You might notice I took my glasses off. It's not improving my looks any, but it's certainly gonna make another point. We using dynamite. Let's get back a ways. Alrighty, boys. Light this sucker up. Woo! Let's see how we did. I can't wait. That's pretty good. Oh, no. Huh. No, that's. That's ugly. That's not how we carve a pumpkin. I'll tell you what, that ain't how we carve a pumpkin at all. Yeah, I don't know how Loretta escaped from the afterlife, especially with Walter watching her, but I have to say, good looking woman knows her way around lethal weapons. I appreciate her dressing up for Halloween for this special occasion, too. Not saying that Josh in a wig is not scary, but some students go the extra mile. Some of our own CCHS students work at the Paducah Town Falls Screen Park. Reporters Kevin Robertson and Jordan Young gives us a look at our town, at our own spooktacular students. Can you survive the wasteland? Talon Falls, a very successful local screen park, may be one of your Halloween highlights this year. Every weekend of October and Halloween Day, Hundreds of people dress up and set up the park for thousands of visitors. Among those who participate in the operation of the park are two Callaway County students, sisters Kyla Mitchell and Carmen Sandoval. Well, we get there at four, um, then you have to go to wardrobe, and then you go into makeup, and pre-shows around seven, seven fifteen-ish, and then we, so yeah, from four to seven fifteen, you're really getting ready. Kyla and Carmen are required to show up a few hours early to transform themselves into their characters. 
Um, I'm in the crypt. I'm a vampire. It's part of the actual Talon Falls house. I am in the crypt as well. I'm also in the Wastelanders, Blood Creek, and in the Asylum. Well, ever since we were little kids, we've always loved scary movies and haunted houses and things. And every every year for the past six or so years, we would go to a different haunted house, either in Nashville or St. Louis or the top haunted houses in the nation. And so we've always just loved scary things. So Josh, would you ever go into a haunted house or scare park? No, Kaylee, I got enough nightmares of my own without them coming to life. What about you? Oh, never. I'm super terrified of anything scary. Well, it's all right. It's okay to be a little scared. <laughs> and tonight is senior night for the Laker football team. They will be hosting Graves County. The senior night festivities start at 6, 15, and kick off at 7. Well, that's it for today's Laker TV Halloween special. This weekend and Monday will be the last time you may get to go to Town Falls, so you better make plans now. From all of us here on Laker TV staff, we hope you have a safe weekend, and be sure to submit your answers to our survey after the show. And stay away from those clowns.